About two days ago, I and a friend were discussing about the young presidential aspirants in my country. We believe that most of these people are not smart, but I have respect for one of them. Not because he's smart, but because he shows up every day. I think because this guy tries to show up and do something every day, he will not only get smarter, he has a great chance of achieving his dream, even though he's dumb. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the reason why some dumb people get rich in life while smart individuals don't. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now let's start this discussion with a quote from Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill said, Continuous effort, not strength or intelligence, is the key to unlocking our potential. The key word here is continuous effort. Many smart people don't succeed in life because they give up too soon, while even the dumb ones sometimes get ahead simply because they keep on pushing. Focus and Persistence If you've followed this channel for some time now, you'll notice that I'm not a fan of 18 hours per day work or something like that. The reason is that I was born as a sickly boy and because of that, I don't have as much strength as an average person does. But one thing I do which most people don't do is, I focus on what matters and I wake up to it every day. You won't achieve success simply because you're intelligent. You won't be rich simply because you're smart. The one single most important thing you have to do is to wake up to it every day, to believe in yourself and in your dream so much that you don't have an option but to keep on fighting. Discover what you can die for I think it was Martin Luther King Jr. who said, you don't deserve to live until you know what you can die for. Why is it important for you to discover what you can die for? Well, when people discover what they can die for, they can fight for it till their last breath. The problem with most people is that they are not passionate about anything. When you are not passionate about something, you can't stay with it when the road is rough. I've seen many people starting businesses and when they experience one or two failures, they run away and look for a job. Having a job is not a bad thing, but if you're truly passionate about building a company, you won't rest until you do it. I too once ran away from the battlefield when my entrepreneurial journey was becoming unbearable, but the difference is that I never, ever, ever stopped being an entrepreneur. I got a job for about 17 months, but even all this time, I always woke up every day to do something about my dream of building a company. I would read a book, do some marketing, write some sales page. I mean, even if you have a job, as long as you have a dream of building a company, you got to wake up every day to do something about it. Your intelligence won't bring you success. Having first class from a university won't make you rich. The only thing that will make you successful is your willingness to wake up every day and do something about your dream. Why Persistence is Needed If you want to understand what it means to be successful, close your eyes and imagine that you find yourself in a new country. This country has a language you don't know a word of. This country has food and culture you never knew existed. Now, this is where you have to leave. For you to survive in this new country, you have to learn, make a lot of mistakes, get rejected by people who don't understand your predicament and probably lose your life if you go into dangerous places you don't know was that dangerous. A similar thing happens when we try to be successful. The environment is new. We simply don't understand what will lead us to where we are going. For example, if you're trying to be a successful writer, you can't possibly have any idea as about whether or not people will like your books. All you can do is to try your best and if the market rejects your best work, you don't know how many more you have to try before you have acceptance of the market. If you want to be a successful musician, you have to understand that millions of people have tried to be a certain Michael Jackson, but the world will never care about their music. So is the world going to ever care about your music? You can't tell and that's what makes the journey to success very difficult and this is the reason why we need to try again and again and again. 
the story of this channel. In recent time, whenever I scroll through the comment section of our channel, I'll see someone saying, this channel is growing so fast. Then I'll laugh. I laugh because these people have no idea what has gone into this channel. We created this channel in the year 2014, but it wasn't a serious thing. By 2017, we decided to make it serious, but we didn't have the right strategies. We tried, invested money and effort of about three team members, but we were doing the wrong things. By 2018, we tried again. Again, we started with another wrong strategy and wasted our resources yet again. Then, we started learning and changing our strategies. Four years after we first created this channel, we still had only 8,000 subscribers and whenever we publish a video, 50 to 100 people watch it. It was tough and it was discouraging, so much that one of our teammates left us. Because unlike what many people think, this channel was never run by one person. While all personalized opinions come from me, we have a team who does different things to produce content for this channel. Now, one day, after four years of opening this channel and about one and a half years of serious efforts, without expecting it, this channel blew up. Pause this video and look at our subscribers count. You may think it's impressive, but it was ugly for years and we kept pushing. The road to success is very difficult because there's no tested path. If there's any tested formula, then it can't make you successful because everyone would have started using it. To be successful, you have to do a new thing and try what most people aren't trying. This is just like going to a strange country where you don't understand a single word of their language. You have to learn, try, make mistakes and risk being rejected, suspected or even killed. So here's the thing, do you want success? Your intelligence or smartness isn't an automatic ticket for the success you want. Your ability to wake up every day and do something about your dreams. Your willingness to stay again even if you fail a million times. Your willingness to achieve the success you want or die trying, that's what makes you successful. If you're smart but you're not stubborn enough to keep pushing, you can't become successful. But if you're an average person but you're willing to keep pushing even at the face of failures, you end up as a successful person.